Hello friends, welcome to this video. I am Dr. N. Namashivayam. Today I am going to discuss some interesting, confusing words for which I have taken three words. One is agenda, second one is schedule, and the third one is program. These words are very easy to confuse. Let me explain one by one. Agenda versus schedule. There are two differences between agenda and schedule. Agenda is used as a noun, but schedule is used both as a noun and a verb. The first difference between agenda and schedule. Another difference is relating to the meaning. For example, agenda. What's the meaning of the word agenda? It means a list of specific topics to discuss or a list of specific information to discuss. That is called agenda. But when you see the meaning of the word schedule, it also means a list of things to be done at a certain time. That is called time-based plan of event. So in schedule, we have to mention the time. But in agenda, time is not mentioned. Now, let me explain the word agenda. As I said, it is nothing but a list of specific topics to discuss. Now, you may come across the word, what's the first item on the agenda? You may ask question, how many items are there on the agenda? What is the last item on the agenda? These are all usual questions. So, the agenda is nothing but specific topic. For example, sentence. Discipline at work is on the agenda for today's meeting. Safety at work is on the agenda for tomorrow's meeting. These are the example sentences for the first one. Next step, agenda can be used as a noun. It, it can be used as to mean calendar. So, agenda also means calendar. What is calendar? Engagement. I ask a question, are you free in the next week? The answer is, let me check my agenda to find out which day I am available. So here, agenda refers to calendar. So this is the first confusing word, agenda. Second confusing word, schedule. Schedule can be used both as a noun and a verb. The meaning of the word schedule is a list of things to be done at a certain time. It also means time-based plan of events. It is commonly found regarding conference, seminar, workshop, meetings, conference schedule, workshop schedule, seminar schedule, examination schedule, election schedule, academic schedule. It's a list of information to be taken up at a certain time. That is called schedule. Example sentences. For example, conference schedule. Registration, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Invocation, 10 a.m. Welcome address, 10.15 a.m. is called conference schedule. Second, schedule can also be used as a noun. One example, schedule means timetable. The word timetable is used in public transportation. Railway schedule, bus schedule, flight schedule. So in public transportation, it is used as a noun that is called a timetable. Another example for the word scheduled to be used as noun is long-term projects. 
for long term projects they use the word time land for example construction of multi specialty hospital construction schedule time land foundation stone december 1st basement november 1st like this they prepare schedule last one schedule can be used as a verb meaning time in the future the next meeting is scheduled on the 28th february 2020 the next election is scheduled on november 28 2021 so these are the various example sentences for the word schedule and the last confusing word program what is program program is nothing but a set of structured activities so these activities are relating to sports games show play on a circumstance example sentence today's exercise program is swimming tomorrow's exercise program is horse riding you only example the word program can also be used relating to broadcasting on tv broadcast on radio this program is sponsored by ronald and son the co partner for this program is johnson company and the last circumstance is relating to computer application computing software software program so the we use the word program as a verb that is to enter a program that these are the various circumstances under which the word program is used i hope you have understood the difference between agenda schedule and program see you in the next video with other interesting confusing words till then goodbye